If you guys caught my last YouTube video where I unboxed all of this new Poplex, you would know we are in for a doozy today. I'm so, so excited. You guys have been requesting Popflex on this channel for quite some time. Finally got around to doing a pretty extensive haul. I was originally just gonna grab the new Seamless that caught my eye. I'm like, you know what, why not? And then I got to perusing and realized, oh crap. Put it this way, it's very easy to get captivated by their pieces. Typically when it comes to new brands on this channel, I like to do a little taste test. I don't wanna to invest too much money into a brand I've never tried before. So I always just kind of grab a little thing or two here. But when it came to Popflex, everything was speaking to me. I think the originality and the pieces, very unique, stylish, feminine, dainty. Everything was getting me so excited for spring and just dressing up. So what was originally meant to just be one little set ended up turning into a big old box. I had a lot of really nice first impressions when unboxing. So again, I haven't tried them on yet. We're gonna do that together. I'm gonna test some of these pieces in the gym and um, let's just have some fun. Let me just pee real quick. Yeah. Not cinched in yet, don't worry. <laughs> Ooh, this needs to come up more for sure. I don't like things low on the waist. Oh. Okay, let's just not do that. This is called the Cloud Romper. So this is the piece where I was struggling with my color. For the longest time I had it in the cart, like do I want the burgundy? What do I want to do? I stuck with this neutral beige because I was like, you know what? If I really fall in love with it, I want to wear it all year round. But I don't know if I'm going to. It's pretty short on me, way shorter than I thought. If I bend over, yeah, my lower booty is going to show. They split their sizes right here. So be mindful of that. It's a little more form fitted on the bottom and then looser and baggier up top. Now, I know they're trying to go for that very slouchy look. Check out the sleeves. I believe Bloglotties calls it romantic sleeve. She does a lot of this, so it is very romantic. I actually really like this up here. I do. I wish I felt this comfortable down here. You know what I mean? Like take a little bit of this and add it down here and I would have pretty much been okay with it. But I would definitely not size up because you don't want this to be huge. And if you size down, I mean, girl, Girl, very plush inside. So it will keep you nice and toasty, at least up top. They also were very mindful of their pockets. So right here is a zipped pocket. Nothing's gonna fall out. You also have one on this side too. Two open back pockets, nice size hood. Something you guys gotta know is this piece is not a full zip. Comes pretty low, right down here. Now don't get it twisted. This is cute if you're like the everyday girly rest day, studying for your exam in your dorm room, keeping it casual. But for me specifically, I don't think I'm gonna use this as much. Also not in love with the fact that these little danglers just kinda, they don't really have a place to go. I don't have anywhere I can actually tuck them. So they're just gonna be hanging out like this. Lifting my arms up, I can already feel it pulling right here. Not like I plan to really do that. I mean, what am I, a freaking cheerleader? But you never just, you just never know. So there's certain aspects of this piece that I really like and then others I just don't feel like are suitable for me. It's $92, so almost 100. This might just have to go back. If I can't utilize it as much as I'd like to for that price, then maybe it's not worth keeping for me. So I'm putting the seamless leggings on right now. A little snug. Oh, a little bit snug. Ah, a little rough texture too. Oh, I can't. Holy shit. It looks like the material from the Lazuli label um, acid wash collection. Is yes, what it does. What it's reminding me of. Right. See, I pay attention, ladies. I pay attention. <laughs> okay, so the top is too big and the bottoms are too small and both are in a size small. So here's what we have going on here. This is a seamless set. This is their newest drop as of when I'm making this video at least. And I believe this is their first go at seamless. Correct me if I'm wrong, just don't be mean about it. The top is like a sweetheart neckline bralette. No padding, virtually no support, but it's super thick, very heavy ribbed. This is reminding me so much of Lazuli label when they came out with their ribbed acid wash, it's so similar. I really did think when I ordered this that it was a true bra, like that you can work out in. This is more like a lounge bra. I really love the comfort though. You have really thick straps. It dips a little bit in the back, but overall just a really nice bralette to wear comfortably and casually. The leggings, however, they're very, very tight around the glutes, around the legs, difficult to get up. Definitely should have sized up. However, my concern is right here, the waistband fits great. So if I size up, I don't know if this is gonna be a little too loose. No gape, no gape. 
No gape? No gape. <laughs> no dreaded CT. I do think that they did a good job aesthetically. I think the heavy rib is very pretty. The acid wash is a nice touch. Do keep in mind this goes pretty low right here. I think if there was more glute space in the back, there'd be more space for my glutes to breathe and maybe look a little bit better. What I'm feeling right now with this texture, it feels similar to jeans. A little rougher texture. It's not soft, no buttery soft feel here. Not totally stretchy. It's limited stretch. Really nice support throughout the legging. I think it's good if you wanna go for your walks and things like that. The texture itself, I don't think it's something I wanna wear all day. These don't feel the most breathable, so I wouldn't necessarily wanna wear them to the gym. Don't worry, we will test this in the gym still just in case you're curious about how it holds up. I think these leggings, they might be doable for the gym. My biggest concern is this low compressive waistband. I just feel like it might have the potential of slipping over time. It's very comfortable, but again, the rest of the legging is a little too snug for me. So now I don't know whether or not I should size up or not. I definitely feel like I should though. It's like no glute space for me. There's no real restriction. Like I said, I'm just feeling it being super snug right here. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Right here is where it's snug, and when I bend, I can feel it pulling on the back here. So I don't think it's gonna be the best for working out and lifting weights, which I prefer to do, like a sumo squat right now. I just know it's gonna end terribly. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Okay. Mm. This feels a little restricting for me. Right at the joints, this is just simply too small of a legging. I need to size up, but then forget about this band. This band will not provide any support. It's already very low to begin with. Yeah, it's, it's a dipper all right, so. This droops so much. If I were to size up, it's gonna droop even more. It'll probably slide down my bum. Look at this. Mm -mm. I need a little more room back here. See that? There's like no stretch at all. Some girls might like working out in this texture, this type of material, a little rougher, more durable. So if you're somebody considering working out, let's see if it passes the sweat test. I mean, the acid wash and this heavy rib band definitely help to conceal sweat. And it's not a thin legging, so it's, there's a thick ass material to it. So I think you'll be just fine with the overall support and the ability to get down and dirty, but not something I prefer to wear because I need a little more breathability. I need a little more stretch. Cuffed ribbing on the ankles, very nice length on me. I'm 5'3". Not sure if I'm seeing this right, but yeah, I definitely see a line here. A little lighter around the glutes. As far as the top goes, no support. So don't even think about doing anything crazy in this. But it is double lined. You can feel that double line. Yeah, for sure. There's two different, see that? Double lined material. So it is very good quality. They did a good job on the overall uh, quality and the structure of it. But to actively work out in it, let's go see. Mm-hmm. You see that wrinkle right around my boobs? Right on the, yeah, right there on the side. Mm -hmm. It's too big for me. Yeah. My 34 Bs, they feel pretty good, but straps are not slipping. Nothing's really moving, which is good. However, if I were to bend over, you ready for this? It feels okay. I don't, I don't think anything's gonna slip. Also, you have the microphone weighing this down. I don't think that you're gonna slip a nip. Uh, but again, if you're gonna do anything high intense, no way in this. This right here is how I would style this set. I got the cloud hoodie. Ooh, now this is nice. Very nice casual hoodie. This is my small, and they have a nice oversized slouchy fit to it. These always sell out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I knew, I was like, I gotta grab one of these. I just had a feeling on the site that I would love it. So right here you have that stretchy rib paneling on the bottom. This just helps to cuff it in. And it gives it that draped over feel. Definitely shows the booty, it's not gonna cover the booty. This hoodie is literally that romper you saw without the bottoms. This is definitely something I will utilize very often. This hood right here, where them toggles go? Where them toggles go? They call this the enchanted hood. It's enchanted because it's long. Yes to the enchanted hood. I definitely think you could size down if you want something a little more form fit, but me, hell no. Hell no. Overall, love this style of hoodie. Two thumbs up. Truth be told, 
I can tell why these are sold out. I was actually super bummed. You know, I just like to make sure everything's still in stock for you guys. This is unfortunately sold out. These are their plain pants. I just remember a girl carrying luggage in the picture. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I might need that for when I go on a plane which is never. <laughs> Isn't that crazy how sometimes like good advertisement will make us do dirty things like that? Like I just bought this for the potential of wearing it on an airplane. Come on, get real Ash. When was the last time you were on a plane? Anyways, I think these airplane pants are awesome. Great length. Oh, that is such a rare thing for me to say, but it just came at a comfortable length. These are in their regular length. They also offer tall and extra tall but I'm always regular or short. These are oh so comfortable. Like it's to the extreme of just being like, wow, you are amazingly comfortable. Something I, yeah, I could wear on an airplane. There's no digging with the waistband, such a nice flow to these. Small is working, not too oversized, but not form fit one bit. Look at that. Ooh. Super cute that they went with a pleated seam down the leg in the front and the back as well. They actually added in some zippered pockets back here. Wow, do we need to do a cell phone test? Yes, we do. Oh God. Not quite, but you know what? It goes right here. I would have loved for the zipper pockets back here to be put right here. I feel like you need them here a little bit more. But you know, you just wanna keep your things secure here. I really do feel like these are perfect lounge pants while also looking semi-professional. Is that just me? Like I feel like you can get away with these in a workspace. Wear it with a nice bodysuit and a blazer. You can totally rock this that way too. This is so soft. Is this made out of their cloud material? The ooey gooey fabric. Is it really called that? Yeah. Okay, so it's called their ooey gooey fabric. Didn't we just hear something about ooey gooey in the Rugrats movie? Yeah, ooey gooey world. Ooey gooey world, okay, that's where I'm getting it from. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I'd love this waistband, but I think it actually works here. This is more of a ruffled waistband, nice drawstring. So this waistband is meant to be either worn high like this or rolled over. Let's see about that. What the hell's going on back here? Hey, Someone got a hula hoop? <laughs> yeah. Back what? On the back, yeah. I don't think that's necessary. I'm gonna keep it as is because I think it's flattering. They also have a split hem right at the ankle. It goes up, how far? About nine or 10 inches of a split hem. I could take it or leave it, honestly. <laughs> I don't really have an opinion on that. I mean, it sucks in the winter if I wanna wear these in the winter and I'm getting a breeze on my ankle. But other than that, if I'm just chillaxing on an airplane, which chances are I won't be, then I guess these could work. I think this is one of my favorite pieces so far. Would I spend $85 all over again? If the color is right, I probably would. Um, I think I could get a lot of use out of these, especially like I said, with a nice tight form fit top. My body shape, my body type, I'm petite. So to have something that can elongate my legs is gold to me. <laughs> <laughs> and according to Bay, these do that very well. I think it's the overall shape, the design, this pleat going down really just helps elongate. I think this waistband helps to create more of a silhouette, a nice cinch around the waist, popping the hips a bit. I'm feeling like this is definitely a flattering fit for my petite body. So with that being said, I would have to love the colors, but yeah, I think I would buy this all over again. I do. So what is this? Is this the squagging? Uh-oh, I think I like these. <laughs> I think I like these. Kind of different. This is their squagging in their navy blue color. So the squagging is basically a full legging, a little slippery smooth with a skirt over top. Over here is a side cinch. Add some movement. This is actually really pretty and cute that they did that. This was one of the main pieces that caught my eye on the website as being super unique, but oh my God, is there so much space in this waistband. This feels great. This is so comfortable, stretchy, lightweight. And this is like a windbreaker material. So I actually like this that it covers the booty. I think this is such a modest approach to gym wear. The one thing that's gonna get really annoying is how wrinkly this is. So I'm trying to figure out how to go about that without having to actively steam it every single time. What the heck? The waistband's pretty big, so automatically I feel like I need to size down. Actually, super big. What the hell's going on back here? Mm hmm mm hmm yeah, that's a gape. There's no adjustments on the inside, so I don't even have a draw cord that can cinch in. So definitely need to size down for this reason alone. I cinched this up so you could wear it like this. 
Did that even do anything? Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can wear it as a normal skirt or cinched in. I do like the cinched in look better, for sure. Pocket here, that's a nice touch. You got another pocket right here. Cell test, oh my God. Luckily this is your phone and not mine. Oh wow, okay, so a nice amount of space there. Full booty coverage. Let me see, when I move around, everything's looking pretty nice. All right, time for the bend and snap test. Bend and snap, oh my gosh. Not a terrible lift when you bend over, but you're wearing leggings, so you're okay. They actually say these leggings are for hiking, which I love to do when the weather's warmer. Actually, I've been doing hiking in the winter too, believe it or not, I've been bundling up. I wouldn't wanna wear these in the winter though because my legs will freeze to death, but summer hiking, this could be really nice. Because these are so lightweight, I can see myself rocking these like that with a nice tank top or something like that. Other than that, I think these are not your average everyday athleisure leggings because they'd be a little tough to style. I mean, if you wear a hoodie with this, it's gonna look funny. So yeah, definitely designed for a purpose, not going to be my everyday grab and go legging, but a nice addition to my wardrobe. Okay, I'm probably gonna use this a lot in the summertime. Oh my goodness gracious, what the heck? Oh, I'm not used to seeing me like this. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute, this is actually like stupidly cute. Pirouette. Is that a pirouette? What is this? Curtsy. Oh, that's a curtsy, Never mind. I have no idea where, why I would wear this, but there's something I really love about this entire look. <laughs> wow, oh yeah, this is completely sheer. Shorts are a little short. No problem there, but kind of a problem because I don't really like short shorts. Right here, they add a little bit of pucker outward to make the hips literally pop. You see that? Okay, so it's a corset style up here. There's no underwire, just a thick seam. You do have removable pads, nice thick straps. This really is a pirouette dress, watch this. I feel like a ballerina. Ooh, dizzy, oh my goodness. I actually think they did a great job on this dress. This is very unique. I have a ton of active dresses at home. Do I need another one? No, I really don't. But this is banging. This is such a cute ass look. Nothing that I do in my personal lifestyle would ever require wearing something like this. Nothing, nothing at all. Not date night, nothing. <laughs> if you are a dancer, I can see you rocking this, definitely. This is very comfortable, moves with your body, nice and stretchy where it counts. Yes, I like the navy blue. I think that there's a ton of other colors you can choose from. The backing is a crisscross and it is adjustable. Very comfortable and stretchy straps. If I was in between, I'd probably size down just to prevent extra baggage right here. I feel like if you size up too much, you might get excess material right at the midsection. So size down if in between, but True size is the way to go for me. I wanna give a shout out to the gal on the website who left a review with a picture and she styled it with a cardigan and it looks so cute. So really nice job. Whether you're being active in it or dressing it up, I think you can do both. Okay. Now I think the top is pretty cute not in love with the shorts. Shorts are a little tight, definitely a little tight, a little too short for me. But I love this digital violet color. I think lavender is gonna be a big hit this year, I can feel it. I feel like everybody's gravitating towards more purples. And I, as somebody who never really wears purples, there's a certain shade of purple I do love and it would be something like this, a little vibrant pastel. I have to admit, the reason I bought this set was because of the top, without a doubt. These ruffles. <laughs> They're so damn cute. I feel like I wore something like this when I was like five years old and I'm ready to relive my childhood because those were the good old days. Couple things about the bra. This band is a little snug. In between size up, this neckline is super wide and square cut. So it definitely sits further off the shoulders than normal. I just feel like if you were to size up, these could be looser. Definitely not sizing down because I cannot deal with anything more snug than this. You do have removable bra pads. You actually have a little bit of a seam here. Yep, yeah, we have some half seams. This dainty look is adorable, especially. Oh God, look at that back. The ruffles look even better on the back. <laughs> Love that they filled it out all the way to the band. All the way down, see? They didn't just stop up here, they went all the way down. This is such a cute bra. I'm trying not to be the type of reviewer that classifies everything as cute, but with this particular brand, that's the first word that comes to my brain. 
It's just really cute pieces. Most definitely not working out in this, but absolutely filming YouTubes. Like you will see this in future videos when I'm just chilling and reviewing and trying to look cute at the same time. And there it goes again, there's that word. These shorts, however, I think this could work for a lot of you gals who love those short shorts. These would be good for running. These are very lightweight. You have that windbreaker material overlay, non-adjustable ruched band. It is very, very stretchy and comfortable, but just like the Skleggings, this is the similar waistband they have here. It is loose right here. It lips a bit. So I don't think there's a ton of support right around the waist. Well, you might not need it in the shorts, but I'm saying in case you're running, you don't really have a lot of waistband support. We have a pocket right here and a pocket right here. I actually love the fact that they've been doing that with their leggings and their skirts. They add two pockets at all times. I know a lot of brands, they only add the one. I actually like the option of having the two. And just like I knew, cell phone fits in wonderfully. Only thing that's gonna make me send these back is the thigh cinch. It's not even that terrible, but I'm so weird when it comes to thigh cinch. Like if it even cinches a little bit, I just find it to be a little unflattering on me and my body type. Like the pirouette skirt was just fine. It's these shorts. I think it just runs a little high. In fact, this material here is a lot thicker and more dense. So there's a lot of support on the glutes. The dress had a lot more of a feather fit to it. Very lightweight, very high stretch. This one, just thicker and denser material. So I think that's adding to the overall cinch around the thighs. I would have preferred these to be thinner and lightweight. I do think that a big reason they went with that thicker material is to prevent the rolling. I know with really thin, lightweight, buttery soft linings, they tend to roll a lot when you squat. These don't, so that's a really good plus. What I'm noticing about a lot of their pieces, the sizing can get weird and iffy. So for example, this is a little loose, so I naturally would say, okay, you can size down, but right here is snug. So if you were to size down, then you're gonna create more thigh cinch. But in between, you're gonna have to do your due diligence with this one. The seamless set unfortunately has to go back. Same with the cloud romper. I am on the fence with the sclegging. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, is it really necessary? Or maybe I could just take a lightweight zip jacket and just tie it around my waist. <laughs> or simply just put a pair of loose fit shorts on top of my leggings. I'm not gonna take away from their ingenuity, their creativeness, their uniqueness, no way. They definitely have that. Quality's pretty spot on as well. Because these pieces are so unique, you have to have them work for your lifestyle somehow. So not every piece is gonna be suitable for a large variety of people. So definitely open to trying more from them. I think my next haul is going to be a little more geared towards my specific lifestyle, things I can actually see myself wearing. This was more or less for fun because all these pieces really caught my eye and I thought, wow, I've never tried anything like this, so let me try. So drop a comment below. Did you like this video? If so, let me know if you wanna see more from me and Popflex. Love you all so much. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in my next video.